Hello fellow YouTubians, my name is Jerry Andrews Jr. also known as the J5Guru. Uh, today I'm going to be testing uh, the, um, the ASME04B um, 12 or 24 volt 380 kg per centimeter robot servo. Uh, these can be, we, we, buy, we purchase ours um, exclusively from the manufacturer which is, uh, let me see, uh, it is Wing X-I-N-E. So W-I-N-E-G-X-I-N-E, -E. okay? There are knockoffs of these out there, but these are, that's the actual manufacturer. Um, you pay a little bit more, uh, but yeah. So these are supposedly rated at uh, like 27 foot pounds maximum. Um, I found out they are not. Okay, uh, they yeah they fail. But with that being said, so I'm going to do a uh, a 10 pound test. Okay, 10 foot pounds uh, for you know for the civilized world that's 4.5 kilograms. Okay. And uh, I'm using the supplied potentiometer that they that they supply, running off a regulated power supply. This is uh, outputting 24 volts, and this displays how much current in amps that it is drawing. So uh, you can see here. That's the speed of the servo. Pretty zippy. See. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on uh, 10 pounds here and you'll be able to see the uh, how much current it draws and kind of listen to how it sounds. Um, yes, from my other video, this is still, hey man, reuse. It's still that crypt connection uh, that I use. So here's 10 pounds. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this slowly. So that is 10 foot pounds. Here, American style ruler. Uh, and I go from here to the center point. It's 12 inches there. It's actually about 12 and an eighth inches. Uh, but so for all practical purposes, 10 foot pounds or 4.5 kilograms per foot. Okay, and uh, we can see the, the current here. Holding current is actually showing zero. Uh, I'm sure it's drawing a little bit, that's showing zero. But the operating current, yeah, we can see an amp. that noise. Okay. So the current draw is not bad. It's a little jumpier than I'd like, but it may be because I'm using this potentiometer. I don't know. Um, so that is, I'm trying to move it as slow as I can here. That is... 10 foot pounds and it will move it. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to do this. I hope I don't regret this. I will say that a lot of this bouncing <coughs> is because the supplied arm uh, that I have there, it, it kind of, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't clamp real good on the shaft. Uh, like right here, the screw loosens up on there. So that, that's a issue I'm going to have to deal with. So I'm going to try 20 foot pounds. This is supposedly rated for 25. Okay. So actually 27. It's 380 kilograms per centimeter maximum. 
as we see, it can hold that. <coughs> well, <laughs> okay, I regretted that. It did not hold it. So, I was not expecting that. You probably heard the large click. Um, I was not expecting that when I didn't, but I was expecting it to hold up. Uh, what has happened? Well, I'll tell you what's happened. The, uh, the large spur gear in here, the teeth have uh, yielded or broken. I'll try moving this a little. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's jumping teeth. So I'm going to unplug that. <laughs> yes, this video will be posted. Uh, wow, that sucks. So that makes uh, two servos that I've managed to, uh, to break. That was 20 foot pounds, and this is supposedly rated to, I think, 27. There's a video on the internet. Uh, apparently that's Chineseium foot pounds. I'm going to get a hold of the manufacturer. I'm going to send them this video and show them that, yeah, uh, so <laughs> that didn't work, did it? That was not, yeah, that wasn't, that did not even hold 20 foot pounds, let alone have a peak. And they say in their documentation, not theoretical. So, yeah, a uh, little bit concerned about this with the shoulders for the Johnny Five robot. And for any of you out there, and I know there's one gentleman considering using one of these to drive the waste motor, I had serious concerns at 25 foot-pounds as to whether or not this would hold up for long. And obviously, this is not even holding up at 20 foot-pounds. So there's, uh, I think, about $160. Uh, just today that I've managed to uh, destroy. And just to show you, so this was the, I, I, I'm going to be making public another video I did. Uh, I have it, the guys are looking at it now more than likely. I just posted it to YouTube. But this is the gear out of that one. And, uh, and that's what happened. The teeth. Yep, the teeth fail. Uh, and I'll show you here, just in case you're wondering, uh, this is the uh, pinion gear that meshes with this steel gear. And it is in still pristine condition. So the, the mode of failure, the failure point, is this spur gear. Um, so, there we go. <laughs> Um, <coughs> I don't know. This is what it is. Uh, I'm going to take this one apart. I'll see the same damage, I'm sure. I'll probably make another video of that, taking this one apart. Um, but yeah. So, if you're thinking about using these in an application that, we, you know, on the robot that we have not specifically said, yes, it's good to go. Uh, don't do it. You're, yep, there you go. That was like $80 servo. Uh, yep, now I got spare parts. I don't have a servo. I got a spare case, and I got everything but the main output gear now because that is otherwise destroyed. So I'm going to get a hold of the manufacturer and see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, I mean... If the maximum load is supposed to be 27 foot-pounds and the thing's failing at 20, uh, yeah, that's not exactly what they're advertising. And the video that they put out before, uh, yeah, my methodology is sound. Uh, yeah, I'll just show you here. Um, since they'll be seeing this video, where's that ruler at? Where did I put the ruler? Oh, there it is. Yeah, uh, so between this point here, whoops, between here and here, and uh, 
you can see it is right at the 12 inch mark within an eighth of an inch so one foot yeah one foot 20 pounds failure of the spur gear and I hadn't even moved it yet it failed when I applied the the weight to it the load so yeah uh, <laughs> stay tuned I guess uh, this throws a monkey wrench into things I was expecting a servo that would put out uh, you know uh, you know maximum 27 foot pounds of stall torque and uh, it's failing at 20 that's significantly less um, yeah Okay, well, that's it. Terry Andrews Jr., hey, we do this for you at Input Inc., okay? We test these things, make sure they're skookum, and this, not so skookum. Um, I'm worried about the shoulders in the robot because those are very high stress areas. Uh, you know, you got the arms, there's quite a bit of weight, quite a bit of mass there. Um, you know, Will these move the arms? Yes. Will they move them and be durable in the long term? Well, that's uh, all thrown into question right now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to um, rethink things. So, all right, there it is. Terry Andrews Jr., J5 Guru, saying bye for now. And uh, go build something cool. Uh, try not to break too much stuff. <laughs> all righty. Bye for now.